wore flip-flops to his audition for American Idol. When she made it through the first round of her Idol audition, she went out and bought a pair of cowboy boots to celebrate. Well, they hung on and made it all the way to the top. Scotty McCreary and Lauren Elena. And tonight, we're calling them our ones to watch. You know, the breakout stars of the last year, we bet we're going to be seeing and hearing from a whole lot more. Welcome to Garner High School in North Carolina, where Friday night football is king. And that may look like just another student cheering in the stands, sitting in study hall, and singing in the choir, but... The winner of American Idol Season 10 is... Scotty McCray! Less than a year ago, then 17-year-old Scotty McCreary went from bagging groceries to winning the most coveted prize in music competition. It's a rush. It's, it's a huge change, too, because nobody cheers for you in the grocery line. Baby, lock them doors and turn the lights down low. The baby-faced teenager with a surprisingly grown-up voice wowed judges from the beginning. And so did this teenager. You never look so good as you did last night. Best we've seen today. Best I've seen today in Nashville. Lauren Elena was twirling pizzas back in Georgia when she first hit the idol stage. There's this pizza that, um, it's like macaroni and cheese but on a pizza. And it sounds really gross actually, but it's good. I'm here to buy my first CD. I'm gonna buy it with my own money. And here they are in New York City, stopping off to buy the first CDs of their new careers. Scotty's album, Clear as Day, opened recently at number one on the Billboard Top 200, making him the youngest male artist in any genre to debut that high. There's a big population out there that are, you know, wanting country music, and, and it was cool for me to be, able, to be able to represent country on that show. Way beyond the city lights, and Lauren's disc, Wildflower, is the best-selling debut by a female country artist since 2006, featuring songs that parents and even preteens can enjoy with a clear conscience. I know that a lot of my fans are young girls, and it's kind of my job now to set an example for those girls. I mean, an adult will respect me more if I pick a song because a little girl can hear it than, you know what I mean? She turned 17 today. But it wasn't that long ago that little Lauren first sang for an audience. I've just, since I was like three years old, been a really big ham. I just love to be in front of uh, crowds and sing. You remember the first time you were on a stage and you sang to an audience? For Children's Choir, I think it was Oh Holy Night. Of course, I was stiff and I was holding my mic just like this, scared. Well, he's not scared anymore. Scotty's song, Walk in the Country, just might have been written about his hometown. Because his idol odyssey took more than a year out of his life, Scotty was anxious to reconnect with friends and family. I love my hometown, I, I love the people I grew up around, and I wouldn't trade that for the world. And uh, so I know I have obligations and duties I have to do with this, and I, I'm going anywhere and everywhere I need to be, but any chance I get to, to go back home and be with those people that, that raised me and, and uh, raised me to be who I am today, I mean, I'm, I'm there in a heartbeat. And there was never any question about Scotty returning to Garner High for his senior year. Scotty! It's not so much just about learning 2 plus 2 equals 4. I mean, you learn a lot about yourself through school and, and learn about life experiences. All right, sounds good. What's going on, brother? I said, Matt, don't plan it on me. I like that hat, sir. Somebody told me, they said, Scotty, when you left, you were Scotty McCreary. When you came back, you were Scotty McCreary. You haven't changed. Hollywood hasn't gotten to you. American Idol is probably the hardest thing that I will ever go through in my whole life. Like, it literally was the most difficult 
journey. When I tried out for the show, I was 15, and my mom had to quit her job and, like, literally put her life on hold to move to California with me. Lauren's mother, Christy, is ever present at her daughter's side. Their bond is strong. Lauren's first video is a loving thank you called Like My Mother Does. Lauren happily traded in the everyday routine of high school for photo shoots and interviews. And then it like looks at you. And while Scotty and Lauren's side-by-side -side rise to success has fueled romance rumors, the teens are not romantically linked. They do share a mutual gratitude for where they've come so quickly and where they're going. What do you think you want? When they asked me in the very beginning, in the very beginning, they said, Scotty, what makes you different? Why do you think you can do this? And I said, well, what makes me different is I'm normal. I don't have any tattoos. You won't find my mugshot on the internet. Everything that I've wanted is, is, has started happening because of them, because of the show and because of the voters. So to talk to them and thank them is cool. Just close your eyes and listen to the two teens singing Lady Antebellum's American Honey, and you just might hear the future of country music. In